Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hey, guys, we'll get uh, started shortly here. Yeah, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Crypto and futures in this game. Uh, welcome everyone. get started um hey guys uh this is our forex crypto and uh futures class all right welcome everyone hey bill welcome bill hey david uh, hey stella welcome hey charity welcome hey guys uh let's go ahead and get started this is an important class uh, so let's go ahead and get started here all right we've got a new week and uh luck to go over. All right. All right, guys, you guys should see my screen here. All right. Monster Futures. All right. Monster Futures. So we're going to start with um, uh, the futures currently, right? So the futures are down slightly. So the Dow, the S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell is slightly down. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right. Um, the market, uh, we'll go over um, what we're looking at as far as uh, uh, the equity markets, but I want to show you guys right here, All right? Right here, the dollar is down, right? So it's down currently. Uh, so we should be out of the dollar, all right? So 4X, we should be out of the dollar uh, long. If you guys want to take some positions short, you can definitely do that, all right? Uh, we are in the Europe here. We're trading some Europe here as long. But I want to show you guys this here. 
all right? And we've been talking about this, all right? Hoping that um, we would get uh, that Christmas rally we've been talking about, all right? And I'm gonna go through this and then please, uh, I'll open up the floor for any questions, all right? If you guys remember, um, so we are currently <coughs> in November, right? We are currently in November, all right? Um, I think, I believe this, so current month, hold on one sec. Uh, yeah. So current month, it's right here, November. Uh, this is October, right here. And then this is September, right here. All right, usually we get big sell-offs in September, which we got, all right? Hell support, all right? And then this is October, we had a big month in October and here is the price action continuing right here. All right, right here, this candle right here. All right, we had a big, big week last week. So we're looking to test the all time highs, right? We're not there yet, all right? But we're heading towards uh, the all time highs in the equity markets, all right, in the stock market. So from here to here is where we need to get, all right, to start testing the all time highs. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, all right? That's a big deal. Very big deal. All right, so good. This is a monthly time, time frame. So good price action on the monthly. All right. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go here. All right. We have buy signals, guys. I sent out a message earlier. All right. We have a confirmed buy signal on three of the uh, the indexes that we track. All right, so those of you who are trading um, either Bullmaster, Stockboss, all right, you really wanna pull out your systems, all right? I know we haven't had a buy signal in a while, but we've got one on the daily time frame here. So here's the Dow, all right, buy signal on the Dow, buy signal, look right here. Buy signal on the S&P, nice break of resistance here. All right, um, right here is the Russell, right here. Buy signal right here, breaking, right? Broke resistance right here. We are waiting for a buy signal on uh, the NASDAQ. We'll get that soon, right? So if the buying continue, we'll get that soon. So we've got three out of the four indexes with buy signal. That's good. That's really good. All right. And the VIX is coming down. The VIX is at 25. All right. The VIX is at 25. So that's really good. All right. Really, really good. We need that to continue. So we need the price action, the buyers to come in. And there's a good chance we'll get that. All right. Historically, all right. October, November, December, those are your best months, right? For the equity markets, for the stock market, historically, right? That fourth quarter, right? Going into the end of the year, right? Christmas season, Thanksgiving season, very, very bullish. And everything is lining up right now perfectly, all right? So you can make, you can make your year, you can make your year in the fourth quarter. All right, but we got to get our minds right. Those of you who trade this, these systems, like I said, stock boss, bull master, heat seeker. All right, and we're going to talk about that this evening. All right, you want to get your systems ready, get focused. All right, you guys can do really, really well, right, in the fourth quarter. All right, so we'll talk about that. So, but good news. Right, buy signals, and on, when we get a buy signal on the daily time frame, that's a lot more. Uh, that's better confirmation uh, than the 240. Okay, so they're def they're definitely coming in, definitely buying. All right, so we'll go over that. All right, um, let's see here. Forex, we do not have a confirmed rotation yet. All right, we, we are seeing some um, movement, 
So here, Monster Forex Tracker, right? Um, you know, if you guys, there, there are some opportunities to go short, all right? We are going long. We had some pairs that we added last week, right? That uh, have done really, really well. The Euro, some of the Euro pairs, all right? Like this one here, what's that? Euro TRY, all right? So, but keep an eye on the, um, on the, uh, the dollar pairs. If you guys want to look for positions, Right, we haven't called the rotation yet, but definitely um, take a look at the yen pairs and the dollar pairs. Okay, so keep an eye on the yen pairs and the dollar pairs uh, for short opportunities. Okay, for short opportunities. All right, and we'll go through some of these this evening. All right, um, we could we could absolutely absolutely. Uh, keep an eye on um, on the dollar pairs. Again, if you guys look here, here's the move in the dollar going down, okay? All right. Bitcoin. All right. You guys, we've been talking about this. We have been talking about this. We have been talking about this. All right. So this should not be a surprise, right, to any of us. All right. And this is why we do this. Right. This is why we do this, all right? right? We should not be surprised when these markets, right, continue to move through their phases. That's why we track those phases, right? The markup phase, markdown phase, all right? All those phases we track because price will follow those phases. You know, I get, I get, I've been getting, because this is a big move, right? In, um, it being called in Bitcoin and, you know, I've had traders call me, hey, David, this is what's going on with the news, right? And you guys know, I don't pay attention to the, to the news, right? Understand that the news, if it's in the markdown phase, all right, expect the news to be bad. Hey, Corey, hey, Mary, right? Expect the news to be negative. If it's in the markup phase, expect the news to be positive, all right? So... I've sent out a few messages on this um, over the weekend. All right, Bitcoin is at 16,357. And those of you who got out a while back, right? This is why we wanna get out of these trades, right? When they're done. And we've been talking about Bitcoin support at 10,000, right? So let's draw that out. And I'll, I'll open up the floor for questions in a minute. All right, so here is Bitcoin at 10,000. All right, we've been talking about, this is the weekly time frame. We've been talking about getting out of Bitcoin, I believe around 40, 45,000, 48,000. I know most of you guys got out um, up here, okay? Some of you got out at 40,000. Right, and now it's at 16,000, all right, 16,000. Now it broke the big, right, right here, right here, that's redistribution. So now it's in the redistribution phase, all right? Redistribution phase, broke a new support right here, big candle, all right? Big candle, we talk about this, right? Whenever the, is these these um whenever an instrument breaks support, breaks resistance, right? Resistance expect big buyers, lots of buying to come in, or lots of selling to come in. All right, so this is not the end for Bitcoin. All right, so we got a, a support at ten thousand. Right, we don't have any buyers until about 10,000 and a lot has to happen to get back into Bitcoin, all right? So if you guys look here and we've been tracking this, we've been following this, all right? So I want you guys to keep this as a, as, a, as a learning, an opportunity to learn, right? What not to do, right? right? Lots of folks are losing money, right? 
Okay, so 10,000 is right here. So it's at 16,000 right here, 16,361. All right, so we look for Bitcoin to get to 10,000. It might not happen overnight, right? But that's the trend that it's in the markdown phase. Redistribution, expect new sellers to enter the market, come in, all right, and push it lower. All right, we do have support, like I said, at 10,000. The next level of support for Bitcoin, and as you guys know, right, we follow Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the barometer for the entire crypto market. So as Bitcoin moves lower, so will most of the other cryptos that are out there, All right? If it gets to 10,000, and we'll, we'll watch this, you know, we track this every week, right? If it gets to 10,000, all right, we can expect a move down to about 5,000, all right, about 5,000. And you guys have seen this on other charts we've looked at, right? So whether it's equities, whether it's 4X, all right, you guys have seen it where it will, price will start at the bottom, bottom of your chart, kind of like, like here, right? It will do this, all right? And then come all the way back to where it started. All right, all right. So that's what we're looking at. So expect some, expect the price to go to ten thousand, unless it does something totally different. Then we'll change our mind on that. All right. But based on the price action, right, we expect it to get to ten thousand. Expect some consolidation between ten thousand and five thousand. Five thousand is right here. All right, ten thousand is right here. So 5,000, 10,000 here, right here. All right, 5,000 is right here. So this is where we could see price stabilize a bit. All right, consolidate. And then we'll see what happens. Will buyers come back in, right, here, and move higher or break support and then move even lower, all right? We don't have any price targets yet below below 5000 all right but that's where that's where things are going with bitcoin so 16343 all right if we get if we get some panic we could get into 10000 below 10000 uh, quickly all right so that's the deal with bitcoin if you guys are not trading it those of you who got out be happy about that all right um, if it gets to a point where um, we have buy signals, right, to get back in, you will know, right? We have lots of time for that, right? I'll open up the floor in a minute. Um, let's see here. I want to I want to um, go over stock boss and bull master in a minute. Oh, sniper trader. Um, we did not have any sniper trades. We, we, for whatever reason, we didn't get flows. We didn't get a lot of flows, right? Big um, option buying, right? Um, on Friday, so we had no trades in sniper trader on Friday. Okay, um, stock boss. Those of you who trade stock boss, we've been talking about energy, and we've sent out some. Um, I don't know if you guys saw those uh, videos. Um, on Mary, those are good videos to watch on Mary, all right? Um, some of the energy stocks, keep an eye on the energy stocks, all right? Look for opportunities that have gone through that markdown phase, all right? Um, Stella, you've done a great job in the past, right? Mary, finding these stocks, right, that are going through that markdown phase, kind of like here. All right. So when you guys when you guys find stocks, right? Find look for stocks. All right. This is this is the season for stocks right now, right? This fourth quarter. All right. But we want to stay focused on the end the um the sectors. Energy is good. We also have a few more sectors, and I want you guys to write these sectors down. All right. Please write these sectors down for me. All right. So the sectors where we have a buy signal, energy is number one, all right? Energy, 
biotech. We have a new buy signal in biotech, and that's part of healthcare. So biotech has a buy signal. So start looking for opportunities in biotech. All right, technology. Look at this, guys. Nice buy signal in technology. Nice markdown phase. Broke resistance right here. Buy signal right here. Okay, price is moving higher in technology. All right. Home builders, home builders, markdown phase, right? Broke resistance right here, buy signal. Big candles, big buyers. Keep an eye, guys, on these big candles. Right? Big candles means that they're, they're coming in heavy. They're buying, all right? Materials, same thing here. Broke resistance here. It's a high buy signal, moving higher. All right, keep an eye on these sectors, right? All these sectors are starting to move. You guys should have noticed the last month, last couple of months, all right? Last three months, last four months, right? We didn't have a lot of buying. We didn't have any sectors with buy signals, all right? Later on, we got a buy signal in energy. And look what's happening now. We've got more sectors that are breaking out. And this is early, all right? This is early. This run, if we do get a Christmas rally, which is looks like we it's setting up, it can go all the way to, 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 to January, all right? All right. Financials, same thing, buy signal. Right here, green candles, markup phase, buy signal, price is moving higher, all right? We wanna get on these trades, right? Gold, even gold, Buy signal here, break of resistance right here. Price is moving higher. Telecom, right? Buy signal here, filled a bit. It's still holding though. All right, real estate, all right? Good markdown phase, waiting for a buy signal here. All right, industrials, buy signal here, broke resistance here, high buy signal. Uh, silver, look here. Buy signal here, good markdown phase, getting past, right? This consolidation here, that silver consumer staples, buy signal here, break of resistance, utilities, right? Looking for a buy signal here shortly, and then healthcare, right? Healthcare buy signal here. So we've got about 90%, if not 95% of the sectors, the sectors are given by signals, guys. So it's a big deal. Pay attention to this. All right, pay attention to this. We want to get on these trades. Uh, Bull Master, same thing. Look at Bull Master, right? We've seen in the last few months where Bull Master, Heat Seeker, we only had about 10, 20, 30 opportunities to trade. All right, look here. We have a lot more opportunities to trade. All right, so while things, while, while you didn't have a lot of opportunities, right, that's the time to preserve your capital, but now is the time to, to start trading again, all right? Um, especially uh, equities, all right? I'm gonna open up the floor. I'm gonna open up the floor, all right? Any questions for me? Anything you guys wanna take a look at? Anything you wanna talk about? All right, any of the markets, any instruments? Hey, Kawisi, go ahead. Kawisi, you have a question for me? Briefly, briefly, yes, thank you. Thank you, David, and I apologize. I was trying to turn down my CNN in the, in the background, but um, a couple of things. Um, Kawisi, CNN, okay, I thought you said CNBC. All right. See, I, I added. I added them. I added them based on based on um, your record, what you what you said, and they've been they've been serving their purpose. I, I like it. <laughs> but um, but here, let me my state my my one statement and and a okay. question, if you'll okay. indulge me, is uh, especially when it comes to to the Bitcoin. Is I know and I know you don't pay attention to the news. Okay. But it's good to understand, I guess, why the action in bitcoin is taking place and i know that everything about bitcoin is on the blockchain but there was a significant um fall in one of the um 
uh, crypto firms mm -hmm. um, that that's causing this. And and then my question, if you don't mind, um, whenever okay. you get a chance, um, would be to look up Robinhood to see what maybe the system is saying about that particular financial because um, they um, they are tied to this uh, firm that's uh, that's causing Bitcoin to take a hit. Okay, so um, okay, so your question is twofold. Okay, so um, are you concerned with Robinhood, the stock itself, or the company? Well, yeah, uh, two things. Um, one, what the system maybe might be saying okay. about that stock right now, because I'm I'm looking as soon as the market opens. I'm just guessing that based on everything that's taken place over the weekend. I'm okay. looking for that stock to take a to take a significant hit. Okay. Um, do you know? Do you have the symbol for for Robin Hood? H O O D Hood. H O O D. And they're in the financials, which is like I'm 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 expecting this to trickle not only to Robin Hood but okay. to all of the financials. Why I'm why I'm interested in you know why why the system is saying to buy. Okay. All right. Um, and your question is, why did the price Bitcoin move? Well, well, I know on. why. I know why. And I and I know that you don't you don't really trade based on the news. It's because uh, the the big firm FTX filed for bankruptcy, and there's been a lot of shenanigans with their their balance sheets and stuff like that okay so that, that's why and 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 i guess you know i i understand you the system evaluates you know selling and buying but i mean to what extent do we couple that with big time big time updates in the in the market as it relates to evaluating selling and buying yeah i i think what you what you what you're trying to say is uh how can we use the system to determine what's going on right um okay and, and i know i know this might be difficult right um to grasp, especially when when you know things break down like they do, right? We we just don't know, right? Um, yes, we know that you know, um, and I've seen it on the wire. I, I see things, you know, I subscribe to, um, you know, Twitter and all of that. So you 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 know you know that you hear that stuff, right? But we don't know, right? We don't. We don't know, uh, and and that's why we have to follow this, right? Because we just don't know. Even a lot of the large, these large firms, if this if this firm knew, all right, FTX that they would be filing bankruptcy, right? If they knew that that um, Bitcoin would do this right here, I'm sure they would have made different decisions, right? They would have made some different choices, right? So the point is, no one knows, right? No one knows. Our job is to get on, right? Uh, and that's why I intentionally, and I, I, you know, and I would recommend do not pay attention to the news. And I know some of you, and I know it's hard not to do, right? Not to pay attention to the news. And when we do that, it will, it will um, get us off track, right? Because that news, um, that that news, it will come in, come in and out, come in and out, right? I mean, you can you, you there are times when you have a company that go bankrupt, uh, you know, not necessarily bankrupt, but have a horribly horrible um, earnings report, right? Fire, fire thousands of people and the, the stocks still rise, okay? So, uh, could we see, um, I don't know. 
That's all I can tell you. But what I do know is this. What I do know is this. Uh, since we've been tracking it, and we've been doing that for a while, right? You know, what I do know is this. It's been making lower highs. And this on the weekly time frame. Lower highs, lower lows. All right. Red candles. Right. It's in the markdown phase. Markdown phase. All right. That's what that's what I know. All right. And I'm not trying to be funny. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. All right. Um, as far as and 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 I tell you guys this. I know someone. No, I don't. Uh, he, he's not a trader of ours. Just a colleague, right? And I remember hearing, right? Hearing. I I do several events, right? Locally, and I remember him talking about getting Bitcoin. I think it was sixty-eight or sixty-nine, right? Right up in here, right? And he was very excited when he got when he got it. And this is this is this is a true story, right? 68, 60, I think it was 67, 68, 69, right? I know it was in this area. And I don't know. And he was planning, he was planning on holding it long term. All right. I don't know if he got out. I don't know if he sold it. I don't know if he's holding it now. All right. But all I know is this. If you bought it here, right? And, and let's say it's holding it still right here. I know that's not good. Right? I know that's not good. Right? Start looking at charts. I would start looking at charts. Right? I was talking to Mary, we were in one of the classes, and one of her stock was uh, Pitney Bowes, PBI. And I told her I had worked for that company, right? I'd worked for that company out of college, right? And she, her stock, she got in, um, she got in, I'm going to put it up. She got in at about $3. I remember when I worked there, that company, that company um, stock was at $70 and now it's at three. And this was in the early nineties, right? So if we think that Bitcoin, Bitcoin could get back up to, to, to 65,000, it might not. Bitcoin could go to $2 and never get back up. That's why we do this stuff, all right? And this is why Bitcoin is a good example of what we do not want to do, all right? So here is, here is Mary's stock here. And I'll, um, let's see, we've got, we've got time. Hey, David, uh, I just want to add my two cents here. Okay. To... Quinn uh, question before. So, yeah, okay. like according to the news, the, there is always a up, ups and down in the market, right? So, as you are teaching, like I believe is mainly like the chart reading, you know, support, uh, breaking the support, it's kind of uh, is going to go down. That's what you explained it in earlier. But what Quinn is saying, okay, according to one of the companies, just went bankrupt and and uh, that's why it's coming down. So like, it's always like, it's for sure always there is a news behind it. That's why so like, it's a big institutional buyer comes in or breaks out. So uh, there was another news also like uh, one of the European country, right? They bought their uh, country reserve as in a Bitcoin, right? That was a big influence when the Bitcoin was jumped in. So... I, I'm just thinking about what will happen to them. They have been holding their reserves, those uh, big institution and uh, another company, also th that that country, right? Okay. So, so th that was just my first uh, two cent. 
and but definitely like what you are teaching is gold here like uh, just reading the chart right and uh, since it's broke up here now right now 20 support is most likely kind of all small fish will follow this big shark and it will most likely it will go down that's the normal trend right and it can happen anything nobody knows right nobody knows like what will happen here so well we well we do know we do know what do we know we do know there's a lot is there's a lot that we know there's a lot that we know so yeah, what correct. We... So the, the 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 way you are teaching right here that since it broke the support, mm -hmm. so most likely all these big institution or whoever like all these big company big institution they know that if it breaks the support, it's time to get out, right? So all they going to do the same way over this month or in a smaller smaller time step, it will go down and down once more selling comes into the place, right? So yeah, so yeah you, that's. You... So you refer it's to most this likely. support. This, you refer to this support correct. right here. C correct. Yeah. Yeah. But keep in mind, this right here, this support right here. That's not. That's not what. That's not the concern. What's the concern? The overall here. It's. It's. This. This right here. This support right here. This redistribution. That's just part of a bigger markdown phase. Hey, David, and not to interrupt, part of what I wanted to add mm -hmm. is what, what, what is going to be expected as it relates to what's going on with this company that filed bankruptcy is whatever um, Bitcoin holdings they had are going to be sold in okay. order to you know, make the depositors right. And, and this is taking place not only with, with this company, but okay. I guess there was another Mt. Gox situation where they okay. uncovered, when they uncovered a lot of, a lot of Bitcoin. That, that's, the only, that's the only reason why I'm bringing up the news to a certain extent, because I, I know that we can monitor you know the the charts and the and the and the action that's going on, okay. but to a certain extent, we do have to involve um, the news because when when they do something with this Bitcoin that's on change, we we are going to see it in the charts. Yeah, uh, bingo. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so if if yeah, so if things reverse, right? and buyers come in, we'll see it in the chart. But we are a long way from that, right? We are a long way from that. Right, absolutely. But um, I think, uh, if I may, uh, the way yes, I please. see this uh, crisis point is about where the actually, this is where the fundamentals meet the price. Because something happens which is big enough to affect the price. Now, under normal circumstances, there are many things happening in the fundamentals and we don't know where they are gonna land, so we don't pay attention to them. But when there is something major that happens, this is when you look at individual stocks to see, is it likely to be affected or not? That's just me, the economist speaking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Anyone? Here's our ear welcome. Anyone else? This is a really good conversation to have. This is a really, really, really good conversation to have. Can you pull up Hood r r real quickly, um, David, if you don't mind? Okay. Robin Hood, yeah. yeah, stock chart. Yeah, yeah. The um, two. Give me a, I'll do it in a minute. Yeah. This is a really, really good conversation to have. All right, and I'm going to highly recommend. Now, I'm going to highly, highly, highly recommend um, you guys get and read trend following. All right, 
those of you who have trading systems with us, right? Charity, Mary, Chris, Taj, Brian, um, Corey, right, Zaire, right, you guys have trend following. This is the time when you want to go to trend following, go to that book, all right? When you're not sure about this, why we do this, Go in your book, dig deep. All right. You bet you we basically have to have blinders on when it comes to the news. You 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 just you you have to train yourself to have, I'm telling you, everyone that bought here thought it was gonna go higher based on the news. Everyone that bought here thought it was going to go higher based on the news. Everyone that bought here thought it was going to go higher based on the news. Everyone that bought here thought the price would go higher based on the news. Everyone that bought here thought the price was going to go higher based on the news. There will be people tomorrow, tonight, buying here. Okay, well, now the news is out, right? They might not buy on the news, but they might buy because it's a cheap price. It's a low price. And it keeps going lower. It keeps going lower. And you have, we have to literally train ourselves not to care about the news. You guys know too much about the news. You know too much. And I'm just saying right? You know too much about the news. Was it Chris? Chris, Chris sent me a text, and I know Chris trades Bitcoin, and I love to get his texts. <laughs> There's always some element of news in there. Always an element of news in there, all right? And I know we all do it. When I look at it, Right. If I if I do look at the news, it's for pure entertainment, and I learned that from trend following. All right, but I've learned in all of these years that the news it has always gotten me in trouble. Right. If I based any if I based any of the um, of our systems, right, any of the research we do based on technical analysis and the price action. Guess what? If I base that on the news, what I think, what I thought, right? That wouldn't that wouldn't be of any service to you guys. And I, I tell then, you what, ninety percent of the time I would be wrong. All right, David. David, one, time, go ahead, Chris. One of the main, um, I mean, one of the, the the main purpose of sending you the the, the story about the FTX a couple of days ago is just mainly about entertainment for to just to see how crazy the situation is and. I mean, it doesn't happen very often. Like they're comparing it to like Enron or, you know, they're comparing it to, you know, one of the top craziest uh, financial situations that's happened in a decade. So that's, it was, it was more for just curiosity yeah. type. Yeah, absolutely. But, but um, I used to, I used to look into the news way too much when I first started and I still can't help myself sometimes, but <laughs> I, I try, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I know. And uh, could we see, I'll get to, to, to Robin Hood. I'll get to your symbol in a minute. But look at this. Look at this, guys, right? So here is where the blow up happened, right? So this is where we learned about the bankruptcy, right? With, with what is it called? F, F, T, F, T, X. This is where we, we now heard the news just came out when? Last week, guys? Was it last week? Yes, it's been it's been about a week. Yeah, a week. Okay, so now that it's coming out, it's, it's four four days. Four days. But look at the, look at look at the move here. Look at this move here. Follow me. Follow me. We heard about it last week. Everyone is panicking. Now they are panicking. So no one panicked. 
until now. It's too late. All this is what created this, the bankruptcy. All this right here, all this markdown phase, all this selling from 68, 69,000 is what created this, this price action created the bankruptcy. Not the other way around. The bankruptcy did not create this. All right. The bankruptcy here did not create this. This selling, right? This selling through the markdown phase is what created the bankruptcy. So by the time we hear about the bankruptcy here, all right, it's too late. Right. Yeah, it's too late. So if we focus on the, by the time it's on CNBC, listen. By yeah. the time it's on CNN, right? By the time your neighbors are talking about it, it's too late. It's too late. Now, think about the traders, yeah. right? Who shorted it. Let, let's, say, let's say you shorted it up here and up here. Boy, and let's say you shorted it here. Let's say you, sh let's say you shorted it at the sell short signal here. Let's say you shorted it at the sell short signal here. And now, okay, it's got a sell short signal here. Broke up this support. That's a weekly time frame. We wouldn't trade on the weekly, but I just want you guys to think about this. Really, really, really think. Think about which side you want to be on. That's, that's the bottom line, right? Think about which side do you want to be on. Do you want to be on this side here? Or do you want to be on this side here? So think of the traders that shorted it right here. The sell short signal broke support right here. And now the bankruptcy, the news of bankruptcy came out and it's at 16,000 and they shorted it at 35,000. Now, the, does the news work to their favor? Do you think if they paid attention to the news, Right, that they would have been, they would have gone short here. Probably not. Right, probably not. That this is why this is a good example because I know Bitcoin is popular. I know Bitcoin is popular, right? It's not so popular now anymore. It's not so popular now anymore. It's just an instrument, right? It's just an instrument just like any other, right? All right, so let's go here. Um, we're gonna look at hood. Hey, David, uh, just a quick question. Uh, this trend following is by Michael Cover. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Trend, Granted, you, you have those mindset. Books. Yeah, you have, you have, you should have that one. Trading in, um, trend following mindset and then trend following, okay? So this is when we wanna get into those books, all right? Or the, 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 or we also have audio books on Audible. Yeah, so- yep. uh, Got it. Go ahead, so so th there, is there is two book, trend following mindset and trend following, that's a two different book or is it the same book? Yeah, two different books. By the Michael trend Coburn? Following, trend following is the original book. That's what I would re that's the one I would really recommend. If you guys have, if you guys are having, uh, and I wouldn't say questions about, about this, but if you're still thinking, if you're still thinking, and that's for everyone, including me, I have to force myself, right? When I first started training, I had a big TV, right? I had um, CNBC on all the time. Right, and I, I had to, it took years to get away from that. But we, ha we have to understand why we need to get away from that. And the reason why we have to get away from that is because if we pay attention to the news, we are going to be too late. And we'll end up on the always, always, always on the other side of the trade. 
which is not right. the right yeah. side to be. Yeah. Hey, Dave, can I say something right quick? Yeah. Hey, Brian, go ahead, bud. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, and I think what you're trying to say, and this is for everybody on the call, I think what you're trying to say is really all we're concerned with is the trend movement. That's all we're really concerned with. When it, when it comes out of consolidation, is it moving up or is it moving down? And that's why he keeps referencing the trend following book, because that's all we're doing is being patient and waiting on a trend to develop and follow it. And in addition to what he just said earlier, you know, the news is reacting to the price. Just like he said, this bankruptcy is a result of the price falling down so long. That's why that company went in bankruptcy. That's why a lot more companies are going to go in bankruptcy because the price has failed. They had a lot of money in it. They didn't take it out. And so you see the price steady going down. Okay. So, but for us on the call, all we're concerned with is the trend. It's really all we're concerned with is the trend. And if when it comes out of consolidation, we look for good entry points. And using this system, you know, this system gives us the signals to where we don't have to try to figure that out. It's kind of all I have. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Um The, the reason why, and I'm so glad, I'm so glad we're talking about this, because it's not just the news, right? It's 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 everything around us, right? It's 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 what we believe, right? And a lot of a lot of us, when you guys, when we start, we are, we knew we are all new to this, and we think there there is a there is there is you guys are very, very, very different. You, the thought process that you're learning right now is very different from everyone else. All right, because everyone else thinks that there, is, there has to be something else out there that they can rely on, right? To help them with their trading decisions. And what, what we know, is that it no, it, it's right here. It's the price right now in real time. All right. So let's take a look at hood right now. All right. And Kawisi wanted to find out. Okay. So he's expecting, and I'm tell me if I'm wrong, that bit. Uh, hood might go down further. Is that right? Based on based on what's happening with uh, Bitcoin and what is it? FTX going bankrupt. So is that correct, Kawisi? You 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 expecting no. Bitcoin? I mean, Hood, Robin Hood, to go higher or low? To go down. To go, to down. go down. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, Let's analyze this here. So, Kawisi, you've been here a few times, right? Just a few times. Kawisi is here every evening, and I love it. Right? This is all we learn. Right? Very disciplined. Right? So, based on the price action here and the price action alone, right? What 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 is it telling? This on a daily time frame. What what can we find out here about Robin Hood. We so we I mean, normally this would be a good buy opportunity. How so? Why? I mean, I mean, well, I don't know. It's 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 in it's in its consolidation or I guess what you could say that that phase where it's in mm -hmm. between. Yeah. But I mean, it's gone through what looks like a significant markdown phase. Okay, it looks right. like it was on its on its way up for a little bit until um, I think, you know, what took place recently. OK.
I mean, the old Kari would have said, or I don't know if I call him the old, the old Kwesi, that, <laughs> which, whichever one, but the old Kwesi, right, or, uh, would say that this, this stock is on sale. You know, you need to look at this as a buy opportunity, but because of this recent news, oh no, that's, that's been, it's, it's definitely selling. Okay, here's a weekly time frame. What do you think of it now? Does anything look different? Does it look different? Not really. Not really? I mean, it looks like a looks like it's on sale. Looks like a good opportunity. So, so, so I uh, I uh, would charity say just need to... uh, Ranjit, go ahead and then charity. There's so, like, no I... buy signal and it hasn't broken any kind of like resistance or support line. It's should be out of the trade. If anything, it would be consolidating, but it looks in the markdown phase. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, um, Ranjit? Yeah, I, I, I agree with her. It's just like consolidating right now. Until unless we, it breaks the resistance, we just stay away from that. It might go down also. It can break the support. So it's just like moving sideways. So consolidating right now. So okay. it's not a buying opportunity. <laughs> just stay away what David has been teaching us. Okay, very good. Now notice, so let's go back to Kawisi's question with her, All right? So what he mentioned was this. Hey, FTX is in bankruptcy. Bitcoin is moving lower, all right? Would that affect, all right, Robinhood? And I'm assuming that it would affect Robinhood in a negative way and that um, Robinhood would perhaps um, go lower. Am I right? So we see, is that the thought process? I'm, I'm expecting Robinhood to go lower because part of their holdings was Robinhood. Okay, very good, very good. So look here, look here. And this is why we always need to go to the price action, right? Right? It's already gone through, it's selling. So on a weekly time frame. All right. Follow me. Follow me. It's already, look here. It's already building its base. This is very, very different than Bitcoin. The current stage, the current stage, very, very, very Bitcoin is on a on a weekly time frame. So we're looking, we're gonna compare weekly on Bitcoin right here, weekly time frame right here, and then hood right here, weekly time frame. Bitcoin is about, follow me, Bitcoin is about right here. It just broken a new support redistribution. Guess what? Hood has been consolidated, building support Building support, building support, building support, building support for one full year, 2022, all the way to now. One full year, it's been building support. Very different, very, very different than Bitcoin. So, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't short Robinhood. The time to short Robinhood was up here, all right? Or I wouldn't expect it to go down further. The time would be here from 80, not at 10. All right? So no, Kawisi, I, I, don't, I wouldn't expect it to go lower. I, I wouldn't expect it. If it does go lower, right? If it goes lower, it's at ten dollars, right? If it does go lower, yeah, it might go lower here, right? Build another base, but the trade is long. Go up. 
All right, the trade is long to go up. Very different, very different stage, still in the markdown phase, but accumulating, consolidating here. Bitcoin, on the other hand, all right? And I tell you what, this, this probably have more to do with the market, right? Because we know the market's been moving lower, right? Bitcoin might be more news related, right? But the market too, it goes with, it, you know, that's why we don't like to speculate, right? Because it could be anything, could be anything, all right? Very good, very good. So we see good, 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 um, good analysis, all right? But we want to do, I, I say this, if we're, going, if we're going to use the news, right, 90% here. News, I'll call it fundamentals, right? 90% you're charting, 10%. 10%, that's all you need, 5 10% max news. And I want to say this, you know, we talk about trading in the zone, right? Trading in the zone. It's not just the news that will mess us up, right? So it's not always the news. That's, that's why this is important, right? Right? It's not just the news. It could be, um, it, it could be a bias to Bitcoin. And I've been around a long time. And I've been through crashes. After you've been through a few crashes and I've been hurt really, really bad, right? On some of these crashes, right? So when, 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 and sometimes it's really good. You guys know when we trade, it's sometimes it's a good idea. I, I like traders to get burned sometimes, right? You, 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 you know, you, you feel that burn so that we don't do it again. All right, we, 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 we get, we feel that burn so that we don't do it again. One second, one second here. And we'll be done. We, we, we're going over just a little bit, but I, I, I want to do that because I want you guys to focus on the opportunities that are coming up and not this negative stuff with Bitcoin. I want you guys to look here. And then we'll be done with this. Uh, uh, a few more questions and then we'll be done. What's the, what's the symbol for Facebook? I thought it was FB. Meta, meta. M-E-T-A. You see, they I don't even know name. that stuff. What is it, M-E-T-A? Yeah, they changed their name, yep. Okay. So it's not just the news, it's our bias, all right? It's our bias to the news, to a particular stock, all right? To Bitcoin, right? And every all the possibilities, right? Everything that it, it, it could be Tesla, right? So, meta, popular, right? The high was at 380 and now it's at 91. I'm sure it's a great company. Very popular, right? Apple, they're all very, it doesn't matter, right? And they don't have to go bankrupt for this to happen. As traders, as traders, as traders, as traders, we trade the price action, all right? And at some point, guess what? Meta, Facebook, whatever, they, whatever the name is, guess what, at some point? Yeah, right now, great short. Bridge short. And at some point, it will be a great buy. All right. All right. Any any other questions? Any uh, other questions? 
Uh, uh, can I get a quick, can I have a question, please? I was late, I thought that started seven o'clock for some reason. Okay, so, hey Ted, welcome. This is your first hi. time, welcome, welcome. Um, can you show me please the Euro USD? Euro USD, okay. Euro USD. Are you in this trade? Yeah, I had a trade last Friday. Uh, I, I uh, did a buy, oh no, a sell. Yeah, it's going up. And... You, 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 you went short it? Yeah. No, I showed it like on the very, like on the very top. I, I, I'm losing like 23 cents, uh, 23 dollars. Okay, the what time top. frame, what time frame are you trading it on? Uh, I, was, I don't know. I just see it when I see it like going going up. So, like uh, twelve o'clock or something like that. I did a trade to one o'clock or something. It's already high. So I don't know. I haven't checked it. Okay. Are you still in it? Yeah, I haven't uh, closed it yet because I know it's gonna go down or something like that. Because I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I don't think, I all right, Ted, we're going, we're going to end with you, okay? We're going to we're gonna end with you, all right? Yeah. I, I will call it a night. Okay, so here is USD. Here is USD, all right? EUR USD. So this is Ted's trade right here, all right? Until I'm going to pick on you a little bit. He got in short to go down, yeah. all right? And um, this is why we do this, right? Because there's no, there's nothing here that shows that it's going to, it's going to go down. <laughs> All right. So yeah, right now you're know. trading, you're trading totally against the trend. Yeah, right? yeah. So let me show you. Let me show you what I meant. All right. So here you are, USD, right here. All right. Look here. All right, it's it's going up. We're just gonna base it here. This is and this is why I ask for what time frame. But it doesn't even matter what time frame because on the sixty minute, this is a sixty minute time frame here. It's going up. All green candles. It's going up. All right. On the two hundred and forty minute time frame, buy signal here. It's going up. Okay. So if I put it on a daily time frame, I don't even have to put it on a daily. I I know that it's going up. Okay, so you're going against the overall trend, right? So the trend is going up and you're shorting it. That's like the trend going down, right? And you're trying to buy it. So you're, again, you're, going, you're going against the overall trend. So that's not good, all right? All right, um, so I would recommend we have a beginner's class on Tuesday. This is your first time. Coming, so come, come on Tuesday, right? Come on Tuesday, we have a beginner's class, right? Okay. We don't want to do that, okay? All okay. right, guys, um, this is exciting. We have, we have buy signals, right? Buy signals in the stock market, and we haven't had that in a while, okay? We have a lot, lots of opportunities in, um, in Heat Seeker for Stock Boss, and bull master. So those of you who are trading those systems, we want to get those get those systems out, right? Stella, Stella contacted me. She said she's going to dust off the system. So dust off those systems, all right? Get them working. You guys need to contact me, all right? If, if there are any issues with your system, all right, get with me, right? So that we can get you going, all right? I'm doing free coaching. I want you guys to get on these trades. So I'm doing one hour with the free coaching for anyone, whether you've done coaching with us or not. All right. I've allotted time, free one hour coaching. I want you guys to take advantage of that. Okay. Take advantage of that one hour coaching. And it's, it could be on anything that you guys want. And I'll try to help you guide you through. Okay. We can't, we can't be thinking about Bitcoin. I know we talk about it, we go over it, 
but there are going to be there's there's other opportunities there are more opportunities right now that we can trade all right i send out some messages on three euro pairs i'm i'm shocked by those pairs but that's another good example right they were breaking out give buy signals we got in and big moves big moves on on um through the week i was surprised by those moves all right so if we in the right phase right if we get in these right the right markets guess what good things happen good things happen all right and guess what if we get out when we are supposed to get out when they get into that markdown phase we will not suffer all those bad things all right all right thanks guys i will see you guys tomorrow for uh q and a all right let's let's get going here right an important week we'll be following these markets all right especially stocks all right take care bye-bye